Hey guys, it's Burgess here and today video we're going to do some summons also I'm going to check this summoning because it's 10 times up also in 2 times chance up I mean it's, it's one of the weird summonings let's say it like this Also I'll talk about the heroes I regret that I didn't actually level up or invest in these heroes and they were sitting for specific time and yeah th this heroes is a game changer in watcher of realms so jumping directly on the summons right now we have three three banners and this is a uh, frostfall summoning where you can you have chance up 10 times i really don't recommend this summoning banner also we have prayers invocation of spirit now here is the tricky part now the chance up is two times perfect i will love this event but the uh, designated heroes chance up is 10 times for these three heroes now i'm not quite sure i want to have boreas i mean he, he made him his average mage let's say it, his average mage also i'm not quite sure for orim and i mean i didn't actually check it out this hero but he's a defender and i don't look for defenders maybe the only hero that here right now in this event uh from the legendary one is actually the setram this is absolutely insane hero and i want to have this hero so definitely i'll hope to get this hero of course mari very good hero one of the free to play player hero that you're going to get from the missions very good one now this one mario i'm not so happy with her i have her five times awakened i didn't dash level of her and this one is ho very very good healer also providing you with some extra stuffs uh, attack based healing like Dwarves the ultimate when triggered increase the hero healing multiple blah 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 for 20 seconds and heal one more target and this is I guess the important part uh, when the light of bliss okay, basically her ultimate is activated recover 0.6% rage for all allies in the range for one second of course this rage can be increased but in same time I have the same hero basically I have um, Elwin that with her skills she uh, she's restoring rage every three seconds equals to three percent is basically yeah close close to the same so yeah we're going to definitely go for this summoning here press invocation since I don't have any legendary summoning crystals last time I did four summons and I get like two legendary heroes so I'm very very happy with my divine summoning but we're going to go for prayers of invocation of spirit so starting with the first 10 draws hopefully we get some legendary come on baby let's spin <laughs> okay okay it's going to be an epic one i still look for some epics i don't have all the epic heroes in the game oh rats imagine that i mean this is a world Wards has four times less percentage from getting a legendary hero and i'm so surprised that i actually get rot but anyway <clears throat> let's continue with the next 10 draws hopefully we get something here okay it's going to be an epic one again uh oh mao what what is going on here i get mao by the way my mao is i, I think not fully awakened i have to check it out i think it's four from five awakening but yeah definitely i'll take mao uh we're going to get this juicy seven summoning crystals and we're going to jump to the next 10 draws hopefully we get better work here okay this is going to be a legendary yeah it's legendary baby it's legendary okay which one is going to be please set trump please set trump what is this oh no calypso oh no oh brother let me know your personal opinion for the calypso i, I i'm not so happy with this hero i think i have her, her even two times awaken it but still she cannot since i have silas uh, still she is not finding the place in my in my 10 heroes so yeah let me know your comments uh she's from what i know one of the oldest heroes but still but i'll take her what we I can say I, i'm going to take her is pricer 
Okay, maybe we can get the second legendary. No. <laughs> Last time I said maybe we can get the second legendary from Tail Draws. I actually get the second legendary. It was like, what is going on here? Okay, let's go for the next 10 draws. Uh, so far, one legendary. I'm happy because the percentage is 1%. I have 70 summons, so I guess it's okay. But anyway, going for the next 10 draws. Let's see what we're going to get. Oh my god, it's only 3 stars. The good thing about the 3 star heroes is you can actually sell these 3 star heroes and actually return some of your gems. This is very, very important. Uh, okay, let's go for the next 10 draws. And when you return your gems, you can actually use these gems for maybe buying stamina because you can get crystals. But in the same time, you can use these uh, crystals, making summoning, getting a 3-star hero, selling this 3-star this hero for the gems, and buying stamina. Okay, uh, we have 9. Uh, 9 summonings. Uh, I don't want to go one by one, so I'm going to buy one summoning from the redeem shop. Uh, there is a uh, summoning. Okay, let me see what do we have here. 11 days, I think I can actually get it. <clears throat> I'll just buy one. I mean, it doesn't actually matter. Just to make it <laughs> summoning uh, 10. I don't want to go one by one. So the next 10 summonings, hopefully we get something interesting. It's going to be a three star again. <clears throat> we can sell this three star definitely. I'll make uh, maybe 10 more summonings so yeah let's go oh my god why i'm summoning here did i summon here oh brother oh okay le let's go here oh my god did i make all the summons on, on other banner i'm going to be very very disappointed if all my summons was on the other banner i mean I cannot actually don't pay that much attention. Okay, we're going to get uh, 10 more summonings. Okay, it's only three star heroes, but who care? Maybe I'll make one more summoning. I mean, I'm far in the lead with the, with the current uh, event in the Oracle trial, so I don't care that much. Let's make the wasp. The last summoning is going to be a three star. Okay, we, we still get one legendary hero. I'm happy with that. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, let's sell all the legendaries we actually. All the heroes, three star heroes that we don't actually need. Uh, there is a lot of three star heroes. We're going to get 1,400. Definitely a good deal from 3,000. Are we going to get some back uh, from every summon? So yeah, this is my summonings. We managed to get Calypso, and Calypso is not something that I'm looking for. We're going to wake her. Uh, still, not much I can do with this hero, but yeah, we're going to wake her. Second time, we're going to get some extra 300 attack, which is not so important, but yeah. Maybe I, 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 I should focus on Calypso at some point. So yeah, this is for the summonings. So the heroes, I regret I didn't actually focus. And there is not that much heroes because you can easily see one if one hero is good from the spells and so on. So I'm directly going to jump on the first hero. I regret I didn't actually level up. And this hero was sitting on the bench for so, so long time. And I didn't actually count on this, and this is Dwarves. This is one of the heroes that I didn't actually go for it. Right now, she is one of my heroes I'm using. But still, the only thing I didn't actually like in her is actually her um, range. Look at this. I mean, it's two cubes left and right, two cubes in front and behind. And it, it's just very, very hard to actually build your heroes like this uh, when you have this attack range from the dwarves and this is maybe the first thing i didn't like that much in her her attack range because 
she can cover for example in the guild boss she can cover just only three not four only three cubes for the ground units and she can cover maybe three cubes or four or five for the range and since my main was nightmare fraction I was not able to count on her that much right now i'm using her for the guild boss because as i said this is one of the underestimated heroes from my side but this is one of the things that i didn't actually like in her the other one was actually her healing now she done every area okay not every but most of the area healers is actually a healers that is not providing you with much healing they are uh, healing a lot of units but in general her healing is not that great so yeah this is the second thing that i didn't actually go for it she's attack based healing all rs in range this is important everybody's getting healing but the healing was not so powerful and of course i didn't uh, quite understand this inspiration increase attack uh, proportionally to the caster attack where this effects activate other buffs effects blah 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 I didn't quite well understand that so I, I just maybe put her aside at some point till I actually saw and try her a couple of times because I was desperate in the gear right one <laughs> I was desperate in the gear right one and I was looking for anything anything that can help me and I saw a couple of people is using the wars so I give her again a shot and she definitely was very very uh, very very good and also the other uh, skills she actually have so from this point she's becoming my booster my damage booster i don't count on her healing but rest of the skills she actually have is absolutely insane very very powerful so definitely um i go for dwarves in the right now but back in the days this one of the heroes that i regret she was sitting uh so so much on the bench and i didn't actually use her that much the other regret hero i actually have is actually a baron he's one of these uh type of bad boys from the nightmare fraction and here is the first regret i actually have since i was already having rat and rat um status is actually giving you the word skill 10 percent of all attributes but also healing received is reduced to 20 percent but the healing effects received by blah 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 20 percent also increasing the attack speed so i saw baron and i was like okay he's from the nightmare fraction i have rot he's going to boost his attributes by 10 percent but in same time is there is a healing reduction here so i didn't actually count on baron and i put him aside the only thing that i actually liked was his uh, ultimate that can go to 100 percent damage absorb shield absolutely insane and i didn't count something very very important and something that is the main reason most of the people is using baron and this is the undying attack deals damage upon the receiving lethal damage enters in the undying staying alike for eight seconds when undying ends aoe damage equals to blah blah now the undying stage for eight seconds is something that baron can actually win you sometime for example in the gear right two even though a lot of these rolling balls can hit you the rat uh, the baron is going to receive all this damage and enter in the undying stage and actually tank these heroes and uh, these uh, mobs and your main dps is going to do the damage for two or three hits and is going to kill these mobs so like this even though you don't have a healer you don't have nothing you just need baron that is going to sit there for eight seconds and let your main dps do the damage and kill everybody of course there is other places where you can count on this undying stage now the shield if i have to talk about the shield is cast shield can go to 100 percent but in the same time uh back in the days i didn't actually have this hero but right now i have him and it's my main tank uh this wagwe wagwe <laughs> actually have uh, 85 percent shield every 11 seconds 
and this is on auto it's not even the ultimate on the other side the baron this is the ultimate so yeah just the thing i i actually put aside the baron was actually that he's from the nightmare fraction and there is a healing reduction there so if i want to go with the nightmare fraction he's going to get fa bigger speed but at the same time he's going to receive less healing and he's going to die way more easy so that is one of the reasons i put him aside later in the future of course i i was having mistake we all have mistakes in this game we just um underrate some of the heroes overrate other heroes like i overrate zeus i was thinking the zeus is going to be a game changer for me but that was not the case so yeah i can just uh underrate the baron by a lot the other hero that i regret i didn't put that much focus on and this is elwin right this one now <coughs> elwin was the first hero i actually received as a legendary hero i was so exciting seeing her intro I was of course hoping this is going to be some kind of damage hero that is doing the biggest damage in the game and something like this but i saw this forest and i was like oh my god what kind of hero is going to be but the moment i saw this something like uh you know butterflies uh some green stuffs normally the green is the healing and i was like oh my god what is this hero did i get that uh this did I get a legendary healer? Because let's be honest, the healers cannot actually help you that much in your progress. Yeah, they're going to keep your tank alive, but in general, you need something to kill these mobs. So definitely the healer was not an option that I was looking for. So I put her uh, aside from there. I start watching some videos. Of course, upgrade myself in, in the game. And I actually focus on other healers like for example, one of the healers was a light walk that I focused back in the days. Right now, he's, uh, I think, fixed it a couple times. I also focus on the vortex. And further in the game, these two heroes was actually the, my main heroes. And I only level up um, Elwin just to have some healing so she can throw healing. But further in the game, I understand she have one of the most powerful weapons on the skills and this is of course restoring rage every three seconds for all allies for three percent of their rage cap absolutely absolutely important a spell that i didn't actually look that much into it so yeah this is one of my regret i didn't actually level up this skill till the max like right now and I also didn't use um, a win that much in, in the fights. I was mostly counting on the Vortex just because Vortex actually his range is pretty decent. He can cover pretty wild range and provide you with some healing. And of course I count off also on Medan and Light Walkie. Uh, I didn't count that much on the healers but definitely I go for this. Then I opened my eyes, as I said, for the wars, and that was the heroes I was looking for. But at some point, I just start looking more and more close. After, for the third time, the third legendary hero was again Elwin. First I draw Elwin, second I draw Zeus, third I draw Elwin again. And I was like, oh my god, what is going on here? So I start to actually put some focus on her and I understand her great great power. Not only this rage regeneration, she's also healing 3 targets, attack based. The ultimate is absolutely insane, she's covering bigger area so she can actually heal the hero that is far away. Also she's having this uh, wood elf that you can place on any place on the map that is going to provide you with healing. So even Elwin is on one of the side of the map, you can use this wood elf to put them and put some healing on the other side of the map also. Absolutely great hero and I think I make a mistake with her that I didn't actually focus on her. 